this is Thinking Byzantine, and happy 2022! This is going to be my first video of the year, and today we'll be talking about some news concerning Activision and Microsoft. Now, before we get into this video, I'm just going to let you know that I am not a financial advisor, nor a professional in the industry. This is all my opinion, so take it as you will. Now, let's jump into this article. So, Microsoft is buying out Activision in a $68.7 billion acquisition, uh, which means uh, Activision Blizzard will be purchased for $95 a share. It's an all-cash deal, uh, which is um, a bit surprising, but I guess it's not because it's Microsoft, and I guess they have the cash position for it, and I guess I'll show you what I mean by that. But let's continue on with this short article. So... Microsoft will be getting iconic franchises, Warcraft, Call of Duty, Candy Crush, Overwatch, and whatever else Activision Blizzard has. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, reading another article, if uh, this deal goes through, um, Microsoft will be the third biggest uh, gaming company. I guess, I mean, I wouldn't say, I guess I worded it wrong, but... In terms of revenue services uh, from gaming, that'd be the third biggest behind Sony and Tencent. Um, now with that out of the way, let's jump in here. And as we can see, let's just do a quick refresher. Um, Activision Blizzard is, uh, well, it's quite a bit up today. They're up $16.88, so $82.27, um, which puts the market cap at $64.03 billion dollars. Which is a bit below the acquisition price. Um, if we go to this calculation here, uh, I guess I should uh, update it a bit to 82.26. So there's uh, around a 15.5% uh, discount currently right now, and I'll get into why there's probably a bit of a discount. Um, we just go here for this quick little calculation I did. Um, so Microsoft will be acquiring Activision at a PE ratio of 26, which is uh, lower than Microsoft's PE ratio, but it's just an interesting little fun fact that I just wanted to calculate. Now, why do I think there's a big discount? It's because uh, this deal has not completed yet, and it probably won't be complete probably sometime of early 2023 or late 2022. Um, and there's always a chance that this acquisition gets blocked and that this count counts that into effect. I mean, this is a huge merger. Um, Microsoft's a $2 trillion company, Activision's uh, at the acquisition price is around $70 billion. But the Department of Justice uh, I, I guess it's not the first time like a smaller acquisition has been blocked. Um, I just pulled this up right here, which is the Visa Plaid, uh, a bit like failed merger. Uh, Plaid was valued at five point three billion dollars, and and uh, what's it called? Uh, Activision is a lot larger. Basically, there's anti uh, monopoly concerns. But uh, we'll see in the future if there would be a lawsuit. But that discount suggests that there is a good chance that there may be a lawsuit or some legal proceedings that may delay the acquisition. And if we look here, just based on the comments from this is Attorney General Mark and Dallaham, a victory for American consumers, all in small businesses. Visa has abandoned effect its efforts to acquire an uh, innovative and nascent competitor. And technically, Activision is a competitor of Microsoft in their gaming division, because Microsoft has their own games. Uh, I mean, they had they acquired Bethesda last year, they have Micros uh, not Minecraft, and they have a slew of other games being produced by themselves. So, yes, the reasons why Plaid was stopped could be reasons why Activision merger could be stopped as well. Um, and here's, I guess, some games that uh, I found that Activision Blizzard has. We have, 
I guess, the Candy Crush, Pet Rescue, some mobile games here, I guess. Uh, Hearthstone, StarCraft, Warcraft, Call of Duty. I'm not sure Destiny is under Activision. I thought the Bungie bought back the rights for that. So I'm not sure if Destiny falls under Activision. Um, and I guess uh, when, how... I guess I should explain how Microsoft was able to afford this acquisition in the first place. Uh, if we look at their cash and cash equivalents, they have 130 billion. If we look at their current liabilities, it's 80 billion. Um, so, right here, 50 billion dollars right here in cash. Just total cash and cash equivalents. I mean, if we look at their total current assets, they have 175. Thousand and hundred seventy five billion, I guess, because this is in millions and total current liabilities. E so one hundred and seventy five minus eighty is seventy five billion, and that fits uh, the sixty eight point seven billion dollar acquisition, it fits with that. But even then, Microsoft could easily raise debt to um, buy Activision, as I believe they have AAA rating, which is even higher than the United States credit rating. And I believe there's only two other companies that have AAA rating, which is, uh, last I checked, I think it was Apple and uh, Johnson & Johnson. Now, this move by Microsoft is not surprising in my opinion. We saw last year that they acquired Bethesda. They've been acquiring smaller gaming studios like uh, Mike, well, whatever that company that made Minecraft. I can't, I can't remember it. <laughs> and look at all these acquisitions. Yeah, just in the last five, six years, Microsoft has been a huge, huge buyer. So this just fits right into Microsoft strategy. Um, for Microsoft, it expands uh, what games they can produce. It, I guess, it makes Xbox a bit more appealing. Um, game Pass gets some more games. And as for what revenues they'll be acquiring, if this goes through, I um, mean, if we look uh, last year, um, the 12, like a trailing 12 months. Uh, Activision made $9 billion, and as you can see here, based on the revenues, Activision has slowly been growing their revenue over time. Now, what's your guys' opinion on this acquisition? I think uh, it's probably a good move on Microsoft's part. A bit pricey, to be honest, in terms of premium, but it fits with their budget. Um, um, as a consumer, um, like I, I like playing video games. Um, I played some Activision games before. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I guess we'll see, but I, I, I don't have any expectations as a consumer of video games. Um, like I said, what's your guys' opinion on this merger? Do you think you'll go through? And as a gamer, what are your feelings on this as well? This is Thinking Byzantine, and have a good day.